Hmm. Okay, I'm done. How'd you guys finish so fast? I don't know. There were a lot of pictures, and one page only had the word Bracadoom. I read it twice. Oh yeah? Well, I have street smarts. So what did you guys think? Well, there was a lot of action, mm. and the story moved along at a brisk pace. It was overall, what's the word I'm looking for? Stupid? So stupid. I don't know how Leonard can get so caught up in this. The four of them work at a major university. They're all super smart. How can they still be into something made for 12-year-olds? I don't mind it. I think Howie is just in touch with his inner child. Although, when he comes to bed in his Batman pajamas, sometimes it feels like I'm touching his inner child. It was probably because they were bullied growing up. In a world where you can't fight back, superheroes provide a meaningful wish fulfillment. Hmm, I feel bad for picking on all those kids. Although in my defense, if Danny Biffle didn't want to eat a mouthful of dirt, he shouldn't have shown up to school wearing a pocket protector. It's crazy. They spend hours arguing about things that don't even exist. <laughs> what a waste of time. I know. A hammer's so heavy no one else can pick it up. <laughs> I don't think it's heavy. I think it's some sort of magic, so only Thor can pick it up. That makes even less sense. No, no, it doesn't. Thor is a god. The hammer is his, only he can use it. It's like Sheldon and his toothbrush. Or his thin, beckoning lips. Uh, it says right here, that whoever touches the hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. Hold on, who decides who's worthy? Does the hammer decide? Yes. No, it can't decide. It's a hammer. You said it's a magic hammer. Yes, but it can't make decisions. If Harry Potter's wand can make decisions, why can't Thor's hammer? Okay, if you're going to start comparing wands and hammers, I can't even take you seriously. Fine. What about space, then? I bet you could hold it up in space. You can't hold up anything in outer space. In space, there is no up. Oh, yeah? Then how does the sun come up every day? Hard to argue with those kinds of street smarts. Leonard and Sheldon have a lot of comics here. Why don't we go get those? Oh, great. Yes. And then you will see, I am not wrong. Because if we were in outer space, then anyone would be able to pick up Thor's hammer because it would be floating around in a weightless environment. Yeah, the slow reader used science. <laughs> Suck on that. Even they haven't read these. It's wrapped quite nicely in plastic. Leonard thinks they have more value that way. Something about... Oh, do that. Okay, let's see here. What if Hulk picked up Thor while Thor is holding the hammer? Yes. Then by the transitive property of picking things up, Hulk picked up the hammer. No, Hulk picked up Thor. Thor picked up the hammer. Okay, hang on. If I go into a bar and I pick up a guy, then he picks up a girl and we all leave together, did I pick up the girl? Did that ever happen? Hey, are we talking about me or are we talking about Thor? Look right here. The Red Hulk is picking up Thor's hammer because Thor is touching it. No, it's because they're in space. He's really just touching the strap. The strap is part of the hammer. No, it's not. The Red Hulk must be worthy. How can Red Hulk be worthy? You don't know his life. OK, hang on. What if Thor's hand is on the strap? I mean, if he's touching it using his god magic, does that mean I could lift it? No. Yes. Well, which is it? Maybe we missed something. Oh, my. Are we really getting that into this? We are doing this to understand a vital part of our boyfriend's lives. And besides, Thor's hot. Let's just quit talking and keep reading. Oh, yes. We'll discuss our findings later. I'm going to make a PowerPoint. I'm going to call it The Marbles of Mjolnir. I thought it was Mjolnir. Uh, Mazel tov. Do you want to order some food? Good idea. I'll help you. Wait, I thought we were reading. We are. We're just giving you a head start. <laughs>